Right guys, so welcome to a pickup slash fix up video that I'm doing. I've been meaning to do this for a few weeks, but I just never got around to it because I was getting quite a few figures and I was like, instead of making single unboxing videos, I'll just make one big video once I uh, get loads. So uh, yeah, these are all like the past month and a bit. Uh, some of them are just fix ups of all figures, like this rich one which I'll get into. But yeah, first of all, go check out BFW Backlash, which went out yesterday and it's doing really well. It's just my pick fed. And uh, Money in the Bank will be next, it'll be out next month sometime. I guess start filming that on Monday. Uh, so, yeah, let's just get into this. So, first of all, I uh, did this a few weeks ago. I switched the short knee pads onto this rich one. And uh, it looks really nice. You can actually do his aerial maneuvers and stuff. Uh, I also did this one. Uh, put on the WrestleMania Heritage. Uh, that would focus. The WrestleMania Heritage uh, head onto this Elite Day Batista. Love the tattoo. If you would like in BFW, tell me. I'll try figure out something. But uh, yeah, so there's Batista. So I think that's the fix ups done. Oh, we have this custom Luke Harper I made. Since I got a new Ambrose, which I'll show you, I decided to use the Elite 48 Ambrose. It's a pretty good height. Uh, just a, maybe a tad bit smaller, but not much. I uh, used the Eric Rowan arms, so now Eric Rowan has like, skinny arms or thick arms, but uh, I don't really mind. I had loose hands, because I gave him the small jaw arms, I think. Because I didn't want this one to have loose hands, and I put on the hands. I added the wrist tape, which came with the battle pack. I added the battle pack head and the vest, and Elite Luke Harper looks awesome. Very cool. Awesome to have that. Because I'm not a fan of basics. Uh, next, we'll get into some pickups. Uh, pretty sure I did a video on these, yeah, uh, Elite 59 American Alpha, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable, very cool, had to pull like a loom band around my Gable's waist because it was a bit loose, but you can always tell it's there honestly, and uh, keeps it nice and stiff, so, yeah, did a video on this as well, entering through to Bobby Roode, head scan is not as bad as I thought, there is better ones out there, but it's not too bad, the robe was awesome, definitely worth the money. Uh, don't think I did a video on this. Daily 58 Ambrose. Very nice Ambrose. As I just say, I don't need my Elite 48, so I made that Luke Harper, because I got this one. And the awesome shirt, it's like two ties. You've got the grey underneath, and an uh, awesome tight top with an awesome head scan. It's very cool. Next we have the Elite SummerSlam Rollins. I did a video on this. I actually sold this raw title. Tag title and the SummerSlam, uh, the American Alpha SmackDown tag titles. Because I, you know, I don't need them, may as well get some money for them. And that's what allowed me to buy, very awesome figure by the way, that's what allowed me to buy this angle. Love it so much. The only problem is the legs click when I move them back and forward. Don't know if that's anything wrong. I guess they'll go loose eventually, tell me. But I'll try fix that. Awesome hoodie, awesome attire. Have some plans for angle. He will be at BF2 Mini in the bank. So that's a world's first. Uh, not like the world's watching, but you know. Um, there's another pickup I didn't do in a video. Elite 57 Ty Dillinger. Very awesome figure. You probably saw him in BFW Backlash. I got this like a month a month ago or something like when I went to uh, watch it read live. Uh, which was also awesome. You said, go check out my vlog on that. And another one I don't think I did a video on. This awesome Seth Rollins Elite 57. Out of these two, I've got to prefer this one. Uh, just the head scan looks awesome. The beard. Uh, they, I, mean, I don't like the skinny legs, I just love the red. Um, <coughs> um, this one's really cool. I've found that both these have loose torsos. I've fixed that one up. This one isn't as bad. But it's very cool. Uh, but yeah, it's quite annoying when you get loose figures. And last, I need some uh, suggestions whether you guys think I should make a grey Finn Balor. Because I've got this here, and the Miz is like a decent height. It's smaller than this Elite 3 Cody Rhodes, which is perfect. And I would just acetone all this off, get some acetone. Get rid of the awesome logos and it would be like a grey and white fantasy attire, it would look really cool. Uh, instead of using this, but I also love this Miz, it's pretty rare I think. And this head scan is very cool, it's like a 2014 Miz, 